Two months ago, the Spokane City Council meeting erupted with chanting from dozens of pro-Palestinian protesters. It all happened during the open forum portion of that meeting. Free Palestine! Well, tonight's city council wants to prevent future disruptions like that from happening, and that is why it is considering changes to the open forum rules. Graham 2's Amanda Rowley joining us live from Spokane City Hall tonight with a look at the proposed changes. Amanda? Yeah, Mark and Whitney here at Spokane City Hall in just about an hour city council members will meet and discuss potentially making changes to several parts of its rules and procedures, but specifically those proposed changes to the open forum portion of its meetings facing the most criticism from the public. So tonight council is considering the following changes to open forum that includes moving the open forum portion to the end of the council meeting and increasing the number of speakers to 20, which is up from 15. The selection of speakers would also be chosen at random and speakers can only discuss topics specific to city business. Members of the audience would not be allowed to stand during council meetings, including during the open forum. This is a measure the proposal says aims to prevent disruption and visual obstruction during proceedings. Now, the proposal also asserts a rule that if it is approved, council is not required to hold open forum and can end the meeting at 10 p.m., even if that leaves no time for open forum. Now, some Spokane activist groups oppose these rules because they believe the changes silence the public. But Council President Betsy Wilkerson told me she doesn't see these changes as silencing, but rather guidelines for a more structured open forum and overall meeting. What they're trying to do is uh, make it so that that outlet for the people of Spokane is no longer accessible to them, is no longer available to them, um, because they don't want us to have that power over them. So the overall intent is again to expand public input, but also get the business of the city done in a timely manner. Now I asked Council President Wilkerson about that meeting in November where dozens of pro-Palestinian protesters stood and chanted at council members. She says those disruptions in that meeting identified gaps in council's rules. So she says if something like that happens again, council knows how to better handle those situations going forward. Now Spokane City Council makes changes to its rules and procedures every year. In fact, it's not unusual for the open forum portion to happen at the end of the meeting, which is what council is proposing tonight. It was only a few years ago that the council meeting had moved the order from the open of the open por forum portion up to the beginning of the meeting. Reporting at Spokane City Hall, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.